yourself. And in this video, I want to go over using Notepad++ to create your first web pages and ultimately uh, continuing to use it to make your web pages. So I just did a Google search for Notepad++ and it's really easy to find and I'll head right over to their website, specifically to their download page. Now there are lots of programs you can use to create web pages. Um, there's free ones and there's paid ones and paid programs um, can certainly be popular and they often have a lot of features that you might find very useful. But there's lots of great free ones out there too. Notepad++ has a rep reputation for being an extremely good um, HTML or just plain code editor. So even if you're writing JavaScript, um, Notepad++ could be an interesting tool for you. Now it tends to be a little bit more bare bones, very it's simple. It's a smaller program. It is open source, therefore it's free to use. And they also have a mobile version that you can install into a USB drive and carry around with you if you use you know, different computers throughout the day. So I'm going to use Notepad++ and I'm going to head over and get their current version. Actually, there's a big download link right there. Go ahead and download it. Okay, now that that's downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and run it. English. Next, I agree. Next, I'll stick with all the defaults. And sure, I'll create a shortcut on the desktop. And I'll go ahead and run. Here we go. So this is Notepad++. Now it can be easy to get a little bit intimidated by a plain text editor because they're, they're um, they're a little bit unusual compared to the programs you typically use, especially if you're typically sticking with web browsers and, uh, and email and things like that. So this editor is not terribly different than Notepad that I used in a previous video to show you how simple it was to make a web page. So Notepad is a plain text editor and Notepad++ is a plain text editor. However, with regular Notepad, you don't get some of the features that are convenient to a code editor. For instance, you'll notice that Notepad++ has line numbering off to the side. It also allows me to change background colors and foreground colors. It's going to have a couple of extra features up here that are going to make our life easier. And it's got a multi-tab interface that's going to allow us to work with multiple pages a little bit more easily at the same time. So a couple of the features of Notepad++. Now, what I want to do here is I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new file. So this is a new file and I can press control plus in order to zoom in to make that text nice and big. And I want to get started on making my page. Now before we do anything too fancy, I want to go ahead and type something similar to what we had in that notepad file from the other day. So let me just go ahead and uh, type up a few basic HTML lines. There we go. So I've simply typed up some text. It's very similar to what I typed up in regular notepad in a previous video. Now, the next step here, now that I've got some HTML typed up, I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'll do a file, save as, and I will save this to my desktop again. I'm going to go ahead and create a quick new folder here, and I'll web page files. And when I save this file name, this part's pretty important here, I'm going to go ahead and call it uh, practice.html. When you name your files for a web page, you want to use all lowercase and no spaces and end them with a .html extension. You literally type the .html file extension. So this file is going to be called practice.html. I'm going to save it and watch what happens to my code as soon as I save. There we go. It gets a little color coding. So that's one of the nice features of Notepad++ and many other HTML or code editors. They will use coloring in order to differentiate tags versus attributes, values, and variables to regular text. So it makes it a little bit easier to read code in a true code editor as opposed to regular old Notepad. So this is Notepad++ and I'm going to use this pretty regularly in my uh, tutorials for writing web pages. So now that we've got this basic web page, and of course I have it saved to my uh, to my desktop. There's my web page files folder in there. So I can go to my browser and I can do a control O to open. I'll go to my web page files folder. There's the practice page that I just created. And there we go. There's the headline for my second page. The 
back over to my Notepad++, and there it is. So the title for my web page, you'll notice I've got this set of title tags right here, my second web page. This shows up in the tab for the browser, my second web page. And if somebody were to bookmark the page, that's the text that would be used. So the title of the page is used as the window title or the tab title as it, as it happens to be. Whereas lower on in the page, after the body, I've got this H1, which stands for headline one or heading one. And headline one is big bold text that shows up in the body of the page right there. It's my headline. And then other things that I might do will work into the body. So let's go ahead and get started with really making a web page using the different parts of the, of the document, the head and the body, and various tags.